Dr. Mark Tangizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about visual perception and aspects of what it is to perceive a face when there's a mask there. Your first thought about what visual perception is like is that it's a TV screen in front of our you know, eyes. And this is this two-dimensional display that we see. But it's actually much more than that. So for example, if I'm holding this drum out in front of you, you don't just perceive it as as a, I'm sure you just perceive this side, it's, it's, you can't see the other side, but your brain it creates a mental representation of the other side. So you would be deeply surprised if I was to turn it around and in fact it was not there at all, it was just concave cutout. Because you've already created a perception of the other side as part and parcel of the part that you can see. You create perceptions of the totality of the object even though only one side of it might be sort of visually actually perceptible. Your perception goes beyond what is immediately aware to you. Now the same thing happens uh, when you're wearing a mask. So when you see somebody, and you've only seen them, especially a parent when you're only seeing these people for the first time, let's say a waitress walks up or a waiter walks up, you're only seeing this person for the first time and they have a mask on. What does your brain do when you see this? Your brain actually is perceiving what's underneath the mask. Of course it doesn't actually see it, but it's creating a mental representation that's there. And the mental representation that it creates, since it has very little to go on, is going to be a very generic or average face underneath the mask. And in fact, we know in cognitive science that average faces are attractive faces. If you average across 100 male faces, you're going to get one that's very attractive. For some reason, averaging them together just creates an attractive face. So when you see somebody and you only can see their eyes and not their eyes, you create this average face underneath it, which is in fact quite attractive. What happens though when you suddenly see their face in actuality for the first time? And this has happened to me a number of times and every time it's jarring because people are not average faces and beautiful faces in real life aren't just average faces. Beautiful faces or handsome faces have deviations from average that make them more interesting, make them interesting and beautiful to look at. But you haven't perceived this person as having that kind of face. You've created a generic face for them. So when they pull it off, suddenly you see something that's bizarre. It's like you already had created a generic average face of them, and so what you're seeing is some deviation, some monstrous deviation away from that. And sometimes it's very jarring. So I've spent, you know, many times you talk to these people for an hour, suddenly they take it off. It's nothing like what you expected, and what you expected was average, and not average in a bad way, like just average in terms of some generic uh, prototype of what it should be, which is typically pretty handsome or, or pretty, and they're not that, and so they seem kind of gross at first until you sort of readjust. So this happens in this case, for example. Those of you who are familiar with me, because um, I usually don't have a, a handlebar mustache going on. And so this would have been a shocking experience for even you. Um, and those that hadn't seen me before and are just seeing this video for the first time probably had no reason to expect that I had a handlebar mustache today. But there's another feature about this that makes it interesting in regards to human identity. Not only are you losing your emotional expressions, which is something we've talked about, but when there's a crowd of folks and they all have masks on, it's not merely the case that you've lost your identity. You can at least imagine that maybe when you would look at a crowd you would sort of implicitly imagine there's all of these random faces out there uh, and you don't know what they are, but there's all of these identities. But instead, your brain doesn't do that. It doesn't create sort of random faces of interest. It just creates one generic face under, uh, underlying all of those eyes. All of those faces are the generic average one. It creates like one mannequin underneath all of those faces, maybe slightly modifying the basis of what it can infer from the eyes to the extent that it's possible. But roughly speaking, a crowd of unique, ident unique individuals is perceived by you through no fault of your own as almost one person duplicated across that. Um, the, the crowd. This is the sense, one of the many senses in which your human identity is being crushed when you're wearing masks. It's not merely that they don't recognize who you are, they don't recognize you or perceive you as an individual anymore. And that was your science moment.